Good morning everyone, welcome back to my studio. I picked up a tray from Michael's and if you're not in America it's a really good art store and it was in the sales section so what I'm going to do is refurb that and for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome back to my viewers my subscribers and I'm a beachy person so that's what I'm going to do to this and I will resin it and so let's get down and dirty and start it. So the first thing I have to do is remove the legs and tape the back and gesso it. So let's remove the legs and at first I saw all these screws and I thought, oh my goodness, but actually it's only these four screws I have to remove. So I'm going to do that, which is easy peasy. Oh, if I had the right glasses on, that would help having eye surgery in November and no more glasses. I have cataracts. And there's this new eye surgery that actually does both short vision and long vision. So I'm so excited. No more glasses for me. This one. And lastly, this one, and remove its legs. No, easy, I'm gonna put that aside. Now I'm gonna tape it. Right, um, what I like to do is go over all the edges with lollipop stick. Just make it sure it's all pressed down because I will be going over with resin. And resin is a sneaky little devil will find its way and if resin does get under the tape I have a really good way of removing rem sorry excuse me tongue in a twist removing the resin drips okay so now I'm going to prop this up on some cups and gesso it let's get on with the gesso I've mixed the gesso with just Floetrol um, I'm going to paint it on everything and let that dry before I put on the paints. I've got to get into all these nobbles and this won't take long. And I might do a second coat because it looks like this tray may have been waxed. So if I do a second coat, I'm going to do that off camera because it'll be boring to watch. I'm going to do the sides. And I've already got my paints mixed, but when I come to pour the paints on and blend them, I'll explain what color paints I'm using. And again, they're just mixed with Floetrol, no water. And I could have put some water in them, but given that I'm pouring resin on top, I'm always kind of hesitant of using any water when I use resin. But when the resin, you know, when the paint dries and I'm using resin on top, if the paint is really dry, it doesn't really affect the resin. Anyway, 
and do this. Doesn't matter if it's really smooth. You can be as haphazard as you want. So, that is that. I'm gonna let that dry and apply a second coat. And then I will be back to pour the paint. And the ratio of resin to paint, uh, sorry, gesso to paint to, sorry, gesso to Floetrol was approximately one part gesso to two parts Floetrol. Same with all the paints. Right, I'm gonna let that dry. The gesso layer has dried and it probably looks, and I did put another layer on it and it probably looks a bit weird because it looks a bit clear in the video, but it's not. What the gesso layer does is prime whatever you're gonna paint on and makes kind of the paint stick to it. So I don't need my gesso anymore. I can put that out of the way. I'm probably gonna put some gloves on to keep my rings clean. Always getting those dirty. And then I've mixed, let's see. I can remember all my paints that I've mixed. So I'm gonna start with my darks and getting lighter and um really not going to put anything here because when i get to do the resin i'm going to mix sand with resin and put that here and then i'm going to do some kind of 3d waves and then a second coat of resin so i have liquitex basics ultramarine and I have Payne's Grey. And I'm gonna blend all these colors. And this is Liquitex Basics Payne's Grey. And um, one of my favorite blues ever. R Prussian Blue. And then Classic. Artist Loft Aqua Green and Artist Loft Light Blue, huge array. And this one's kind of an interesting color, but it blends well with these two. And this is Artist Loft Powder Blue. It's just a really pretty blue to just put at the edge. So let me move all these out of the way. Let me just get on to pouring. And these won't take long to dry. And then I am going to put some luster in the resin. And then we'll be done. Well, probably not. So I'm going to begin with the darkest blue at the top which is the Payne's Grey. I'm going to try and avoid the kind of knobbly bits, sort of. I want something to go on the knobbly bits. I haven't really quite decided to do with those. And the Ultramarine. No, oh, this is the Prussian Blue. And I'm gonna overlap everything. And the aquamarine. And then the aqua green. And the light blue.
And I'm also going to embellish the sand with some shells and um, a few little stones. Um, maybe some starfish, but everything has to go under the resin because it is going to be a tray. And then I need a clean popsicle stick because I want to blend all of this. Do this. I'm going to bring some light up to here too. I'm going to put some heat on it and see if any cells pop up because of the flow troll and the mixture of paints. I might get some cell action. some cells going on here. Um, the other thing what I wanted to do with the novels instead of painting them was just kind of bleed the painting over. So they become part of the painting. Makes it all different. And more cells are appearing as this is happening. This is so pretty. Just rub the sides. Right, I'm going to completely let this dry. Gosh, this is so, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then put the beach on and the resin. I'm gonna give it one more blast of the heat gun and um, and see you when it's all completely dry. Okay, come back later. I'm up really early this morning and I had some extra paint leftovers, so I've got um, eight coasters that I'm going to make and some are square and some are hexagon 
and I have my resin mixed. What I'm going to do is put like the beach down. Let that set up a bit. Here's my sand. Gosh, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Um, this is, for those of you who haven't watched my beach paintings before, um, I have three different types of sand. I have very grainy sand, medium grainy, and very, very smooth. This is my grainiest sand. And I'm just going to, oh, and for my paintings, I don't normally mix my resin with sand. I normally just do sand with glue. But for this, I'm going to mix the sand with the resin because it needs to be with a tray. And I'm picking out, because there are like bits of, oh, well, maybe I don't mind, bits of seaweed and stuff. Because I collect the sand myself, dry it out. So let's see how that goes. And I have got little tiny sand dollars and starfish and tiny shells. So what I propose to do is let the sand and the resin set up probably for like an hour and then come back and then cover the whole thing with resin. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more sand. A lot more sand. I was worried that I didn't mix enough resin, but I have mixed more than enough. And this is, um, this is, I think it's is, this is Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity Resin. I'm going to have to put more sand in. So you can see there's lots of seaweed. It's actually not seaweed, it's called seagrass. But I'm going to put more. And this is right from the beach by my house. And it's really quite grainy, which is the best kind of sand to use in art. And then I have a, a super smooth sand from the chalky side of the island, which is beautiful, which is good for different kind of paintings. Anyway. So, let's begin. Oh, look, this is perfect. Right. So this is all mixed. This is great. So now I need to pick, here are my, so this is bigger. I need to pick, I'm not going to overdo it. I need to pick flat. F flat. This is curly. This is good. This is flat. But it's got a broken leg. Poor little thing. Uh, flat, flat, flat starfish. OK. 
curly leg. I think I'm going to use this one and just bury that little broken leg in the sand. And then I have all these tiny shells, which I also collected on a beach. Um, so I'm going to just gather, you know, a collection of these and um, some sand dollars, which are real sand dollars. And these, by the way, none of these were killed. The little starfish wash up because they, they just can't survive and they just wash up. And I'm going to put like a couple of sand dollars. Same with these. They're not killed. They just wash up because they didn't survive in the ocean. So that's what I'll do. So for now, I'll do my coasters offline, but I'll show you the results. So now I'm just going to lay the sand layer down. The beach. Life's a beach. And I have to let this set up a bit because if I put a sand dollar in this, it would just sink and you wouldn't see it. And you see seagrass, it's kind of nice having this in here. And over the sides. Right, so I'm just going to let that settle and um, when it's settled, I'll put the, you know, the embellishments in and then I'll come back and put the clear coat of resin in. I've done the embellishments on the wet resin. I haven't resined over everything, but I'm so happy with everything. I'm going to take my camera off its little hook and just show you these coasters. And these are going to have two coats of resin on them. And I'll show you that process, but I'm so excited. They're absolutely gorgeous. See, this, what's hap this is what happens when I go to the island and I come back and I'm all inspired. So I'm gonna let the resin sand dry and then we'll do the final resin coat and then we'll put the legs back on the tray and all will be on my Etsy store, but I'm not gonna put them as a set. The tray will be separate, the hexagon uh, coasters will be separate and the square coasters will be separate. So I'm excited, see you when they're dry. I have to say, this is probably one of my most favourite
projects and it was easy but complicated because it was a deep pour tray and you know it's like still kinky and I'm still like dragging the drips off so it doesn't change and all my little coasters are drying their little heads so we'll come back tomorrow morning not sure if the tray will need another coat because it looks took a lot of time to dry this baby so I might have to sand it and put an extra coat but I won't let you suffer that I will show you the finished results everything's finished so I'm going to bring you in for a close-up and I had extra paint so I managed to make eight coasters all with the same theme let me bring you in because it's really glary because it's resin so here are the coasters i did um, four square and four hexagons two of them have starfish two of them have sand dollars little shells same with the hexagons And the tray turned out absolutely fabulous and flawless and I've got his legs back on and my seals on the back and my signature so hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and I will see you next time